on the trails again for an easy trail run today and um, this seems to be a good place to um, stop because it's really windy and this is a little bit sheltered so hopefully the sound will be fine. Um, so just going out maybe for 8 to 10 miles, a nice gentle pace. Um, it's quite mild again today, heading down towards the Derwent Walk. Um, it's quite a steep run down to the Derwent Walk, about a mile from where I live. And it's quite muddy as well, so I'm going to be a bit careful underfoot. Um, I've got, I'm wearing some Hoka One One Speed Goat 2s, which are excellent. They're quite expensive, but the grip on them is fantastic. The only thing I'd say about the, from the, in the grip, the Vibram grip they've got on the bottom, they sometimes collect a bit of mud that, that sticks in between the grips and it can make the shoe a little bit heavier. But um, anyway, that's fine. I'd rather have that than have an inferior grip where you're slipping over all the time they're really good going downhill and uphill and on the trails um, so so well worth the investment Thankfully made it to the bottom safely. Great stuff. So I've just run up a trail there broke off the down walk and I've never run up that trail before um, so you're not sure how far the ascent was and how whether it was going to be muddy or not but you get to the top and look what's here someone's obviously dumped a chair here quite a nice looking chair actually and um, it's as if it's been put at the top of the hill for runners or walkers to take a rest on I'm sure it hasn't I'm sure someone's just fly tipped it but it's, it's really good just to um, go on different routes because we can get used to going on the same routes and it just freshens it up keeps it exciting and just freshens things up which is really good um, and tests you out a bit and you never know what you're going to come across a bit like the chair I've just shown you which is absolutely bizarre I'll just stop for a snack about um, six miles into the run it's lovely and mild the winds died a little bit so for snacks I'll usually bring on a trail run maybe dates or some salted nuts raisins, dried fruits, apricots, they're really good um, and for hydration I use coconut water, it's natural, it's got lots of electrolytes in so it's really good for you. I'm not a big fan of the sports energy drinks, I do have them occasionally um, if that's the only choice I've got but prefer coconut water. So I'm just going to have some nuts and raisins now and then be on my way again. Also it's just nice to be out running without um, worrying too much how far you're going to go or how fast you're going to go and just run for the pure joy of running and running to me is like sort of a meditation it's a sort of an informal meditation practice so it's a bit like a mindful movement so you observe your your thoughts as you as you um running and taking your attention back to the body and your surroundings especially when you're on the trails it's beautiful um so it's really good i class it as part of my meditation practice as well so it doesn't always have to be sat down just taking your attention to the breath you know it is mindful movement running so it can be used as, as a part of a meditation practice I think it's also important to note that um, when you're doing your trail runs that's a good time to test out what hydration and what food works for you you know so um, if you can test it you know it may be bananas or dried fruit or it may be that you prefer to use gels because they're handier and easier to carry sometimes um, so it's a really good opportunity to test out um, at different times of your run what works for you whether to have water a sports drink coconut water what snacks when to have them and also learn how to sort of um power hike up hills as well because that's you know when you're coming from a road running background and you're transitioning to trail running you can be constantly looking at your watch and also be um you know thinking i should be going faster when you perhaps need to go slower uphill because it allows your heart rate to stay lower and then you can recover better on the flat so these are all things that you can actually test out on your runs so I encourage you to try that out, that's what I'm doing now and just having fun and smiling when you're running. So as I was making that video there, I heard a cow mooing and there is it, it's off, it's come down, it must have been a bit bored, being a bit inquisitive and it's actually um, running away now, see so if I can get closer to it. 
É louco. And off the go. Probably wondering what on earth is he going on about. <laughs> throw this standing on the viaduct and I don't know if you can see but up there we've got the red kite sovereign in the Dune Valley here we've got a lot of red kites you sometimes hear them probably looking for something like these and down there in the trees you might be able to see the the pigeons there's loads of wildlife around here it's really really beautiful So I've done about seven miles, got another mile and a half to go of which three quarters of that is up a really um, steep hill. So I've practiced running up that before and it's really challenging and it might be more economical to um, walk or power hike up it so I might try that today um, because like I've said before your heart rate can go up and then when you're on the flat your legs are feeling really heavy and it takes you a while to recover so I may, might try power hiking up it a day and, and seeing how I get on. Got the red kite there in the distance. Swoop it over it. And then if we go over to the other side of the viaduct, there's another red kite up there. Quite high up, but sometimes lower than this. So I made it to the top of the hill, hill eventually. So you can see I came from the hill down here where the trees are all the way up um, and I decided actually power walk it for a minute and then run for a minute and it seems to work really well. So the legs are a little bit heavy but I'm not too bad. I'm really pleased with it and then rewarded with this view at the top. So I've had to get out during the day today because I've got to get back for my son and niece getting back from school and make them some tea and you know you can think oh I'm going to go out for an hour and a half's run but when you're shooting these videos um, it can sometimes be you know a couple hours so it takes a little bit longer so maybe that's a sign that I need to talk less and run more so I've got about another half a mile to go so I'm on the home straight I think when I've finished I'll have done about um, perhaps eight and a half nine miles so I've really enjoyed it lovely mild day um, and the wind's easing a bit now which is great so I'm back in the house after the run, ended up doing nine miles. And I mentioned before about um, Hoka Speedgoat 2 running shoes I was wearing, trail shoes. Just to let you know that um, they're more for um, technical trails and perhaps longer runs, but I use them personally for any run over about six miles on the trails because they're just so comfortable, really nice fit. Never had any blisters from them before and they've got really good support. Um, also, I've got some Salomon uh, trail shoes. You can feel your foot a bit more on the ground on them, so they, they, you've got better contact, but um, I do tend to get blisters off them on the insole. It's a total different type of shoe, less support. Both both decent shoes, really enjoy wearing them. Um, so, just about to have something to eat now, I'm really hungry. Fortunately, I've got some stuff I've made from yesterday, so I can just heat that up and then get a shower before the kids get back in from school. So this is what's on the menu. Something I made yesterday, it's couscous with um, roasted sweet potatoes, it's got kale, peas in, mushrooms, garlic and um, red Thai curry sauce which absorbs into couscous nice. Sounds a bit strange this is Jordy working class guy <laughs> seeing couscous how times have changed but I'm looking forward to it just eating it up now. Going to get that down as to see you've got about an opportunity of 15 to 20 minutes after you've exercised to get food into the body so normally I'd have a, a shower and get washed but I am really hungry as it's about half two, not had any lunch, so I'm just going to have this now. I know you can't smell this, but it really does smell nice. You can smell the Thai spices coming off it. So I'm really looking forward to this colourful, tasty, healthy lunch. In the words of Del Boy, lovely jubbly. So that was really nice. It actually tasted a lot better 
um, from yesterday. It was really nice yesterday, but I think it's just had a bit of time to marinate with everything. So tip roasting the um, sweet potatoes beforehand and then putting them in afterwards just gives them a lot more flavour. And I would never have thought of putting Thai curry sauce into couscous, but it actually works. It absorbs into couscous, gives it a really nice taste. Some nice spices and herbs and Thai food as well that are really good for you. So really enjoyed it. So there you can see the runners just uploaded on Strava. So it was 9.02 miles. Moving time and volume of 20 minutes, 31 seconds. About 8.56 minute miles. And um, the elevation gain was 846 feet. I'll just get the splits for you now. In case you're interested. So there's the map. The splits. So as you can see, the last split coming up the hill was a lot slower. And also there was a split in between that was a lot slower as well. So pretty happy with that. Wasn't too bothered about times. It was just about a meander on the trails. Really enjoyed it. Body's feeling good. So just about to have a shower. So I'm out the shower. I'm just going to wrap this up now and say bye-bye. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you found it interesting and got some useful tips from it. Um, if you've enjoyed watching it please give it a like and if you've not already subscribed please do so um look forward to then sharing some more interesting tales with you about my running soon so take care have a good day hope your running's going well bye bye